I want to derive the cosine of a difference formula, but let me explain what that means first. Let's take a look at a picture. This is the unit circle, and I have two points, A and B, and the coordinates of point A are cosine alpha, sine alpha. The coordinates of point B are cosine beta, sine beta. I'm interested in finding a formula for the cosine of this angle here, beta minus alpha. This angle's beta, this is alpha. So this angle between the two is beta minus alpha. I want a cosine for that. Now, let's recall the law of cosines. If I have a triangle and I want to find the length of side C, I need these two sides and the angle between them. And I'll use this formula, a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of, and this is gamma, the angle between them. All right, let's start by using the law of cosines on this picture. So first, law of cosines. And let's observe, I want to solve for this length AB squared. That'll be our C squared. So AB squared equals, and then my, my A and B, these two lengths are both one. Because this is the unit circle, the radius is one. So any radius is going to have length one. Both of these have length one. So it'll be one squared plus one squared minus two times one times one times the cosine of the angle between them, this angle. So one squared plus one squared minus two times one times one times the cosine of beta minus alpha. Beta minus alpha, again, is this angle. Okay, now just simplifying a little bit, this is AB squared equals two minus two cosine of beta minus alpha. Okay, so that's one formula. Now, the second thing I want to do is use the distance formula. Remember, the distance formula is how we find the distance between two points in the plane. And I want to find the distance between these two points. I actually want the distance squared. But the distance formula would say that length AB is the square root of, and you take the difference in the x-coordinates, and that's cosine beta, minus cosine alpha squared, plus the difference in the y-coordinates. That's sine beta minus sine alpha squared. Now, I'm actually interested in the square of this, right? Because eventually, I'm going to equate what I get with this. So I want AB squared equals. And then I'm going to have cosine of beta minus cosine alpha squared plus sine beta minus sine alpha squared. Now I've got to expand this. Okay, it's going to be a mess, but prepare yourself. I'm expanding this. I get cosine squared beta minus two cosine beta cosine alpha plus cosine squared alpha. All right, that's the expansion of this term. Now let's do this term. So plus sine squared beta minus twice the product, two sine beta sine alpha, plus sine squared alpha. It looks terrible, but something really, really nice is about to happen. Check this out. We've got cosine squared beta plus sine squared beta. Very nice. That adds up to one by the Pythagorean identity. So I'll put a one down here. And we also have cosine squared alpha and sine squared alpha, that also adds up to a one. So it's another one. So let me write this. Equals one plus one. And then I have the rest of the stuff, the minus two. Let me observe that both of the remaining terms have a minus two in front of them. So I can write minus two. I can factor that out. And I'll be left with cosine beta, cosine alpha, right? Factored out of here. And out of here, I'll have a plus sine beta, sine alpha. So this is precisely 2 minus 2 cosine beta cosine alpha plus sine beta sine alpha. That's what AB squared equals from the distance formula. If we equate it to what AB squared equaled from the law of cosines, we get this, right? We get this thing equals this, 2 minus 2 cosine of beta minus alpha. 
Now, let's observe that in both sides, both sides of this equation, we have 2 minus 2 times something. We can cancel these 2's, and then divide both sides by negative 2, and what we'll get is this cosine beta cosine alpha plus sine beta sine alpha equals this cosine of beta minus alpha. That's our formula. Let me write it up here. The cosine of beta minus alpha equals cosine beta cosine alpha plus sine beta sine alpha. This is the cosine of a difference formula, and we'll use it a lot in coming lessons.